Hi, my name is Grant Kramer, and I'm a professor emeritus at the University of Nevada, Reno. My Backyard Vineyard, Season 2, Episode 1. In this video, I'm going to talk about the survival of the vines over the winter, and then the time at which bud break occurred. And then we'll talk about four different vines that have been handled differently over last year. The first vine was previously pruned to two shoots in the year before. The second vine will be pruned at the top of the stake to make two shoots this year. And the third vine is an example of a vine that did not grow very well. We will prune it back towards the base and regrow it to make a straight trunk. Finally, I will talk about the vine that I broke last year and the strategy I will use to reestablish it as a strong vine for next year. This is a view of my west vineyard and my east vineyard on February 20th. All of the vines survived the winter, although I am concerned because they look rather weak. But as you will see, they grow very well later in the season. Bud break occurred between March 12th and March 17th and varied with different vines, as you will see in these next few pictures. Many of these buds are just swelling and aren't broken until the leaves start showing. Let's look at the first of our four vines in this video. Okay, it's now springtime. The buds are beginning to break. Some of them have broken a little bit earlier than others. Some are just beginning to break right now. We have different vines that have been trained previously from the previous season, a little bit different depending on their vigor. So in the back here, we have the one that is being trained for head training and was vigorous, and we grew it into two different shoots. So we have a cane here and a cane here. We want to prune this to two buds. So remember, we have a basal bud here, and then we have a bud coming out here. This one's not looking very good at the moment. This one's looking very good. So I'll prune it up here one more with the thought that I may prune down to this depending on how this breaks out. So this one's done. And then the same time we have a pruning here with again a basal bud, a secondary bud, and a bud here. And again, I think I'm going to prune here to three buds for now, but I will probably prune this one back on both sides to two buds when I'm sure that the growth is looking good and normal. And now we have the beginnings of our head trained vine. And next year, these two shoots will be pruned to their two buds and we'll get a bigger, more goblet shape. Bye. Okay, so we last pruned these grapes on March 17th. Today is March 31st, so it's about 11 days. We've had nothing but rain in between then and now. And so I couldn't get into the vineyard or I didn't want to get into the vineyard because I didn't want to spread disease, which when pruning during rainy times is a bad thing to do. So we're going back now to re-examine the vine that we're growing into a head trained vine with two shoots that were on there last year and I pruned them down to what I called three buds because I wasn't sure about the two buds. So let's look at this vine for a moment. Here we have actually a dead piece that I'll trim off here to make it a little clearer. This is a basal bud and we have another basal bud down here that is looking actually pretty good and is actually producing flowers. So it's not really an apparent basal bud. There's another bud down here. There's a bud here on the opposite side. And there's another bud on the opposite side. The buds always break off on opposite sides. So this one is our basal bud. That is a 
true bud. And then on this side, we have two dormant buds down here at the base. We have one bud here and one bud here. Now you recall, I left them because I wasn't sure how good these buds were. I wanted to make sure I had two good buds. So it's not looking like these two basal buds are going to do anything. They're not gonna be as vigorous probably as these two. So I'm not gonna trim back on this. I'm gonna remain, keep the remaining two buds here that make for a very nice spur coming off of here. Now what to do about this one? It's not clear. Perhaps I should take the basal bud off and give this other bud an opportunity to grow. But it's not looking very good. So it may be that I will go with this one and that one. So I will trim off the basal bud for now by just breaking it off. And indeed, it does look like, now that I can see in here, that this bud is probably not gonna do very much. It's probably similar to this bud down here. But this bud is looking good. I can see what looks like the formation of flowers coming out, so it's gonna look healthy. Here, we have a flower forming. So these are gonna be healthy. I don't want the flowers this year. Later on, I'll trim them off so as to not rob the plant of energy. I want all the energy to go into the vine, into the trunk, into the roots, and to develop more leaves. But this one I clearly don't need. So this time point, I'm gonna remove this by cutting right there. And now I have the basis of my spur this year, probably. I can, if this one really takes off, which I doubt, I could always trim this one off at a later time. So I'm being cautious here in the development. I'm pretty happy about that. And you can see the development of these four shoots over two weeks. And then again, two weeks later, as they grow into the beginnings of our head train vine. Let's take another example where we will develop a vine as we did in the previous year, where we'll begin to develop two shoots for the beginnings of a spur for next year. That are growing just with one long shoot, which I'm going to prune off and start the training for this year produce two shoots on each side for the head training that will be pruned next year. So let's do a little pruning. Here's an obvious one where we have a lot of excess growth here. This part didn't even go into complete dormancy, and so it's broken quite early. Now you can see that the rest of this line is breaking along this line. So we want to cut this one with the idea that we're going to head train it here. So we have a tie that is really kind of loose here. We could increase that tie, strengthen the tie by putting an additional tie around the top here. So let's do that before we cut it. And then we want to cut it approximately four inches with one bud up here and one bud coming from below to create our beginnings of a head train top. So I'll cut right there. And this is gone. Now we have lots of other buds here that we don't need. So we're going to want to sucker them off by just snapping them off like so. so that we maintain the structure of this trunk. And it's easy to do this now when they're young. If they get larger, then it's going to be more difficult. Now I have another bud right here. I'm not sure if it's going to break, so I'm gonna leave this one for now. I may prune this off later on, depending on what happens at this node. And here you can see the two shoots that have developed by May 2nd. What do we do with a vine that is not developed very much at all? Okay, hopefully you can see this 
this little vine here where you can see the spindliness of this vine and you can see there's a few good buds coming out at the base. I have this vine growing up, but it's not doing very well. But I have a bud right here at the base that I can train up this pole. So I think I'm going to leave this and prune this right here. And I'm going to remove the rest of this because it's so weak, you can see how small and weak they are. And we're now going to grow a bud here at the base. So we now have this pruned to one bud here that is going to grow up this pole and be trained this year. And you can see how the spine has developed into a very straight shoot that will be a very nice trunk for next year. Finally, let's take the vine that I broke last year and see how I'm going to prune this vine. It is showing some signs of life by March 17th. Now we're going to look at the vine that I broke last year and reattached, realigned, and added wax to regrow. We can see that we remember if we had two shoots here, this one's sort of dead, but there's a nice, very vigorous shoot coming off of it. And the other one, which earlier in the year looked a little weaker, is starting to come on, and there are lots of buds breaking here. This is all a good sign, but I'm not convinced at which portion I should leave. You notice I have it tied here to try to keep it secure and not move around too much so that it doesn't break this. I want this to continue to heal if it still needs to. I don't know, I can't look inside to know how long it takes. But my guess is it's pretty fragile at this point. In fact, throughout the year. So I'm gonna be very cautious with this vine and look to develop the whole vine as much as I can and not yet make a decision on which shoot to develop. I can take a number of any one of these and grow them up the trunk, or I may grow all of them up the trunk this year, and then select the strongest one for next year, which is probably what I'm going to do. And here you can see that the vine is developing very nicely with several strong shoots. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then I suggest that you subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will be informed about other videos that come out in this series. You will also find other interesting videos on viticulture and enology that you might find useful. Well, have a great day.